to the video of day three, I wanted to tell you about this piece of land at 200 Rockcliffe Court. Um, right now the piece of land is em well, empty, it's got grass and trees and, and soil and all of those good things. But the land was sold to a meatpacking company. I'm assuming they want to build a meatpacking plant there, and that would be not good for a lot of reasons. It's right beside the creek. Um, and the, the main reason that's a concern is flooding. Um, the more buildings, the more parking lots and, and roofs and things that we have, the more water from the rain gets shot right into the creek without getting absorbed into the soil first and that makes the creek flood and since the land has been sold there's been a couple of floods along the Black Creek. One of them, two men almost died because they were in an elevator and the elevator started filling up with water and they would have died if the, the, the police hadn't gotten there in time. So. The land has, the city sold the land, but there's a, a thing called a judicial review where we can apply to see if that purchase was actually legal. And we, we have an argument because the TRCA, which is the Toronto Region Conservation Authority, in 2014 they recommended that that specific piece of land be used for flood mitigation. So, there's a GoFundMe page trying to raise funds for this judicial review. Um, that you can donate to. I'll put a link somewhere in the description of this video. And we can make things a little better, hopefully. Hello. I'm by myself today. Stephanie is sick. She wanted to come, but she got sick. And this is where we left off last time. You may have noticed it's winter now. I've, I've been so busy with work that I haven't been able to come up here. Our first Black Creek walk was in the spring. And our second walk was in the height of summer with the lots of, lots of vegetation all around. And now here's our third walk in the winter. I think last time if you watch the video for day two you'll you might know what I mean but I, I learned last time that I need to start with the prayer so that I start everything in a good way. One thing that definitely needs to happen is a cleanup. I uh, should have brought a garbage bag. The creek flows under this highway. And you'll notice there's drains in the pavement. I wonder where the rainwaters go when they go into those drains. Now there's a big problem with flooding along the Black Creek. And 
because, because when the rains come, the rain falls on all this pavement and then there's nowhere for the rain to go other than into the creek and then the creek overflows. In a healthy ecosystem, the, the rains would get absorbed by the trees and the plants before going into the creek. It's amazing what you start to notice when you realize how important nature and water is. You know, I would have driven along this highway and never have known that there was a creek flowing under it. I really feel like an outsider. There's all these people doing their work and going about their day and then there's me walking up to this fence to look at a small creek that they probably haven't noticed. I feel kind of like I'm doing something wrong. You know, I've, this makes me sad. I've seen this in many other parts of the creek. If you notice, the banks of the creek are manufactured out of this concrete block system held together by steel cables. It's amazing that there's plants going up through this concrete here. Sounds like a cliche by now, but I'm really starting to see how human development just goes at a very fast pace and any nature, any life that's in the way just gets pushed aside. Well, most of the life that's in the way gets killed, but unfortunately, well, fortunately, you can't exactly kill a creek, so they shove it off into a little corner. You know, mi millions of years of evolution and then humans come along and just tear it all down. Put up these buildings. I'm not blaming anyone. I know everyone in these buildings has to make a living just like I do. You know, some of these companies here have probably manufactured a material or something that I used at my work. I do renovations for a living. So I, I am part of the problem too, but I'm trying to recognize that as much as I can. And try to also be a part of the solution. Just thinking about all the trees, all the plants, all the animals, the birds and the insects, the berries, the, the edible plants, the mushrooms, the fungi. We, we paved paradise and put up a parking lot, that's for sure. What do we do now? The creek turns at an exact 90 degree angle now. It starts going south and then it turns exactly east. Now, obviously, that's not how the creek originally went. It goes perfectly straight east for quite a ways now.
the Black Creek. There's a drain that comes out from under the road on, on the far side over there and here close where that fence is. Make all the rain that falls onto these parking lots that goes into their drains and then out here. And there's the drain in the parking lot. So I have a little bit more fear of going off trail because of what happened last time. So every time I decide where to go, I need to really listen. I'm going off trail now. I didn't stay off the trail for very long. Back walking on the parking lots. I don't want to be a downer this whole time. You know, this is all about how we can do something about it. I want to be able to do something about it. And I guess I am by doing this walk but it never feels like I'm doing enough. The creek takes another 90 degree turn to go south again. Concrete structure. I'm gonna go over the concrete structure, see what's in there. Ah, yes. The graffiti. Don't try this at home. Especially not in winter when there's ice. I don't know what this structure's for. The creek goes under where I'm standing right now. Maybe this is for flood waters. I think I'm gonna offer the creek a song. Make my way back to the car. Oh. Uh. 